Welcome to this radio channel and this is a quick video of two great resources that are available for anyone that wonders how propagation and the type of signals and also if you go to VHF UHF range even sporadic e-skip uh, happens first it's dxmaps.com which is a great website at the top you have the uh, continents Europe Africa North America South America and so on you can see the full world if you want. You can choose the amateur radio band, either VHF, UHF. For example, here I'm on the 50 megahertz, uh, six meter band. I see there's a lot of activity, so there's tons of sporadic e -skip happening right now. And uh, of course you can go to low frequency and HF. And here you can see, okay, 10 meter band. So 10 meter band, as you see here is open in North America. Or if you wanna know if it's an open in Europe, you just click Europe on the map and there you will see the European um, conditions and of course you can check out different amateur bands when you see if 20 meters open in a specific area just look at uh, 20 meter let's look at the world for 20 meters for example and here you will see all the contacts from different places and so it's a great great resource to know if a band is open towards a specific area and so on and for the IRV HF UHF it's cool because you can see also if the band is open for sporadic e-skip and so on. Also, another resource is day and night world map. This is very important because in the shortwave hobby, knowing where it's dark and where it's light has a tremendous effect on what frequency you will try to listen to for a specific station. It will also help you understand if yes or no, you have the possibility to hear a specific station and a, a frequency because you'll see if it actually crosses the day and night path. So this is of course updated all the time so this is real-time map of the darkness and the daylight side of Earth. So both websites very very useful. I will post the links of both websites in the description below the video. Hope you enjoy my little videos of all the websites and resources that are very very important and very useful for any shortwave listener and amateur radio operator. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.